It's Ms. Cynthia, everybody, and today I want to talk about Destiny Discover. My previous videos walked you through what is actually Destiny's back office. It's primarily set up for library staff to access administrative functions, things like circulation, reports, catalog management, settings, and the like. Destiny Discover is that aspect of Destiny specifically intended for customers. And if you follow the links to other schools from our district catalog homepage, some of those links will direct you to Destiny Discover for that site, while others will take you to that site's catalog via back office. That same back office that you and I navigated together in our earlier videos. Either way, you can browse and place holds. The Destiny Discover offers additional features which I'm going to highlight in this video. So your first step as always, when you want to browse our catalog, is to go to santarosacity.falletdestiny.com forward slash and to choose Santa Rosa Charter School for the Arts from the list in the right hand column under Charter and alternative schools. To log in, click on the link in the upper right corner of the screen. A patron named Book Processing is now logged into our catalog and they click an option called Destiny Discover in the left sidebar menu on the screen. Here is what the welcome page looks like in Destiny Discover. In the bar at top, you can input your search and then just hit the magnifying glass to proceed, or you can click on search options to limit results for your search term by keyword, title, author, subject, series, or other options. You can also specify the format for items that you want to search. You can browse in sublocations in our library, like among graphic novels or fiction, or limit items in your search by their reading or interest level. A search for new kid brought back 54 results among books in our library. Among the first two items, here's a feature of Destiny Discover that I particularly like. That green in tab over the cover image for the new kid by Karen English quickly and easily tells a customer that this item is currently available. Just below it, New Kid by Jerry Craft is currently not available. A red tab over its cover image states that this item is out. Destiny Discover also lets patrons browse for results among collections. Like their name suggests, collections are groupings of resources that somebody in our district has saved and made available. Collections might include web pages, images, documents, ebooks, and more. But in this instance, the search for New Kid did not turn up any results among collections. With this third tab, Databases, Destiny Discover pulled in results from databases from Britannica Elementary School, and from teaching books. A fourth place that I can turn up results in Destiny to Discover is open educational resources. You'll see with this slide that a search for New Kid turned up 18 results. Let's go back to the results among books and place a hold on The New Kid by Karen English. A message banner appears telling the user that this item is available now and asking the user to please pick it up before December 18, 2020. You might also notice that the hold button has now turned into a button to unhold this item. Now, once again, it's important for you to understand what happens when you place a hold. The next time I go to work and log into Fall at Destiny, the catalog will notify me that there are local materials to be pulled. So even though Fall at has told the customer that the item is now available or ready, 
it won't actually be ready for pickup until I locate it on the shelf. And item checkout is subject to a special arrangement. We're currently piloting remote holds on items by our middle school students. The items you request, if you're able to check out, will be sent home with your instructional materials on that month's distribution day. And the due date for your items will be set for the next month's distribution day. Now back on this slide that showed the user message about the item available now, you may have noticed this red number one in the upper left corner. When you click just next to it, it expands the main menu and you can see that red number one again next to the option labeled holds. Clicking on that option will show you any items currently on hold along with that item status and the date that the hold will expire. Well, folks, that's it. I want to thank you for watching this video series. I encourage you to explore and get to know the resources available through Destiny Discover and think about how using it compares to using Destiny Back Office. Which Destiny navigational platform feels most comfortable to you.